welcome you all to a new episode of first year higher secondary mathematics classes here chapter 1 sets in first class we studied finite set infinite set null set or empty set equal set equivalent set subset proper subset super set power set universal set disjoint set next we study the operation on sets for this consider an example consider the sets capital a equal to set 1 2 3 capital b equal to set 2 3 4 5 5 here capital a has three elements and capital b has four elements the element 1 is not in capital b similarly the elements 4 and 5 are not in capital a but a and b have common elements that is 2 and 4 we construct a set in such a way that the elements are either in capital a or in capital b by the definition of set it is well defined and distinct that is repetition is not allowed in the set hence we can write this as set 1 2 3 4 5 that is 1 belongs to a 4 and 5 belongs to b 2 and 3 belongs both a and b this operation is called union that is the symbol is used to denote the union therefore we can write a union b equal to set 1 2 3 4 and 5 in set builder form or set builder notation we can write a union b equal to set x such that x element of a or x element of b that is a union b is a set which contains elements either a or b then we define the union of two sets the union of two sets capital a and capital b is the set consisting of all elements of capital a together with all the elements of capital b without repeating the elements more than once symbolically we can write a union b and usually read as a union b example 2 using the above definition of union consider the example let capital p equal to set a b c capital q equal to set b d e f here we have to find p union q that is elements either in capital p or in capital q taking repetition is not allowed therefore clearly we can say that p union q equal to set a b c d e f consider another example let capital a equal to set 2 4 6 8 capital b equal to set 1 2 3 4 4 here capital a has four elements and b has also four elements the element 2 and 4 is in both capital a and capital b 6 and 8 is in capital a only 1 and 3 is in capital b only we construct a set in such a way that the newly constructed set has elements 
in both capital A and capital B. It is clear that the newly set is set two for clearly two element of A, four element of A. Also two element of B, four element of B. This operation is called intersection. The symbol intersection is used to denote the intersection. Hence, we can write A intersection B equal to set 2 for. That is, A intersection B is the set of all elements common to both capital A and capital B. In set builder form, A intersection B equal to set X such that X element of A and X element of B. Then we can define what is intersection. The intersection of two sets, capital A and capital B, is the set of elements common to capital A and capital B. Symbolically, we write A intersection B and usually read as A intersection B. For more clarification, consider example 2. Let capital P equal to set 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Capital Q equal to set 2, 3, 5, 6. We have to find P intersection Q, that is elements common to capital P and capital Q. It is clear that the common element is 3 and 5. Hence, we can write P intersection Q equal to set 3, 5. 